Okay, we got the cluster bolted onto the onto the motor. As you can see, it's that's the size I'm using. I got that from um, Sick Bike Parts. Um, now it's a matter of lining it up. Obviously, it's too far out, and you can see it's rubbing against the frame. Um, now it's time to mod the axle. This is the rear motor, so what we'll have, for, have to do first is we're going to have to, um, I don't want to remove all the threads here, like cut it cut it off, because it'll expose the sealed bearings, which is in this part. Um, I want to leave the sealed bearings something to, to lean against, or else it'll just ride right out. They might, so I'm going to leave a little bit of thread on, but I'm going to cut it off all the way through. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grind the axle down to about here, flat on each side, like it is here. And then this will bring the motor over, and then it'll stop rubbing. And then when we're finally done, um, obviously there's not going to be much thread left here, which is alright. Because what we're going to do is we're going to put something, put up a bracket on the back here, and a washer that when you tighten the bracket, it tightens the axle to the frame. So it really doesn't have to be bolted. So we can cut it as short as we want, and then it'll uh, pretty much clear the crank. So good there, <clears throat> and that'll uh, move it over. Because as you can see, it's way way off. So it's, that's going to take a bit. Wow, you want a good workout? Building knee bike from scratch. <laughs> okay, the axle's outside getting grinded. I had to uh, take the hacksaw and uh, take that off if you go flush with the case you're alright but as you can see here it's uh, it's frustrating the aluminum so smashing it out probably isn't a good idea which was my first idea but uh, it's done Whew. probably could have used a jigsaw to do it but too freaking lazy so there we go clean all the burrs out of it and then we'll uh, get the axle and slap it back in. Another trick I should uh, show. Well, here's the stator. It's been grinded down. See, it's pretty good. Give me more room to uh, for adjustment. One thing I was going to post is how to clean the magnets. These were all rusty and rubbing. Um, the easiest way to do it is to sand it. And then what you do is you take a rag and then rub it along there like that and then until you get a bunch of the magnet material bunched up and then, then you just go like that to squish it out and it'll end up on the floor shoot the floor so it's going to end up back in the uh, the ring and as you can see that was like total rust so it's not too bad there's a little bit of pitting in there a few spots that uh, got damaged like right there so but it should be alright so lots of life left in it should actually look like that. Nice and shiny, but what are you gonna do? So okay, that's done. The plate is cut. So now we'll throw it back together and uh, see if we can line it up. Uh, that's what it should look like. Nice and clean. You can see where that uh, the e-bike was probably sitting outside and used for a while since that was all buggered up. You can see from there to there, it's just rust and there's still some uh, staining on the plate, on the, the pan, or the wok, or whatever you want to call it, the side plate. So, it shouldn't be rubbing anymore. As you can see, I have more room to work with. I can uh, shim it out in there so it doesn't rub on the floor, on the uh, drop out there. But, as you can see on this side, I got more room for the chain. It lines up more with the crank. And then I can uh, shim it out here, and uh, once I get that all done, then I can cut the uh, cut the axle. It spins freely now. No rubbing. So, so good. Quick test to see if the motor's all right. working.
Uh, you know, I couldn't resist. I extended the chain just to see if it would actually uh, work. It's uh, rubbing against the frame here because I haven't bent it and adjusted things yet, but uh, give it a try. Got a hell of a lot of torque. That's enough. <laughs> A little loud though.